Today we'll be looking at the operation of the Toxiray Pros used for nitrogen dioxide. They can be used for other things but the sensors would have to be changed. Our ones are currently only designed to go with nitrogen dioxide. Standard operation is a pretty simple affair. Ostensibly all you have to do is turn it on, which is the left power button here. Just hold it down for a few seconds until you see something turn up on the screen. I suggest holding your finger over this little hole here as it gives a very loud beep otherwise and that will just mute the sound a bit. Once you've turned it on it'll start a small warm-up operation that lasts about 30 seconds to a minute as it just tests itself a few things. Self test pass and it'll just run through a whole load of things on the screen you don't really have to worry about as it goes through. It'll do this automatically every time. Now, once it's actually got past these settings, it'll start automatically recording data and it is ready to go uh, for use on site. All you then have to do is take the clip, clip that onto the lapel or somewhere in the breathing zone of your operative on site and that will work. Continue reading every one minute it'll take a sample and you can then later collect the data for retrieval. Now there are a couple of things you need to watch out for which is these are a little sensitive in their sensors uh, and they can drift from their zero setting quite easily. So you might have to re-zero it if it's, you notice that the levels 0.0, .0 ppm here have changed uh, to a degree when you don't fit feel that it should be. Every month or so it will also need retested, uh, recalibrating with the span calibration with the nitrogen dioxide container that we have here and the specialised specialized, uh, flow, uh, flow regulator with adapter cap. So to enable the recalibration, both the zero calibration in fresh air and the span calibration there, all you have to do is hold the two buttons down together just hold it down for about five seconds until you see the screen comes up and it asks for a password the password is zero 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 and it's just up right up right up right and click OK then you'll be able to get into all the mem into the settings, not just calibration, but anything else you may need. If you need to turn on or off some of the alarm sounds, if they've been altered. But this one with the little gas canister is our calibration settings. Click select, the right button there. And then it'll ask you to do, a, you can do a bump test. Just check whether it is giving you the right, correct readings. Or you've got the zero calibration and the span calibration. So just click select zero calibration and then go stand in some fresh air outside where you don't expect there to be any nitrogen dioxide present and then when you're ready to do span calibration if you have the gas it's the same thing you just click select span calibration but here this time it'll ask you span 10 ppm do you want to change this so we want 10 ppm if it's not on 10 ppm you want to change it they should be on 10 ppms, in which case then you can just say no and then it will send you to this page, apply gas and then quit start. Sometimes it will automatically start once you've got the gas going but you might just need to click start. So you apply the gas, you apply the gas for 60 seconds and then it's ready to go. Uh, you just have to quit, 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 go all the way back. So I'll just turn that off. So to apply the gas, we've got our flow regulator, you just screw it on the top. Screw it on the top. It'll tell you how much it's got left in it. And then yeah, we've got open and close valve, so keep that closed until you're ready 
when you're ready, just open it in the direction of the arrow. And the adapter here on the top just fits snugly onto the very top, onto the sensor there. Oh, make sure the little clip rings out the way, otherwise we'll get in the way. And then it just fits nice and snug all around there. Then once you're doing the span calibration, you just open it up and hold it there. It's quite happy just sitting on the ground like that rather than you holding it up. And then once you're done, you just pull it off. It just slips on, slips off, nice and easy. And that is our Toxie Ray Pro. Once you've done all of that and you finish with it on site, you turn it off by holding down the power button. Hold it down for five seconds, it'll flash at you and it'll turn off. And then with that, you're ready to collect your data. So to connect it to the computer, you've got to have it plugged into your cradle, USB, power, all connected up. And then you've got the right hand but the right button there. And you just go across. It will give you an indication once you're done with the job of what your STEL and T approximate TWA is. And you keep going right, you've got a temperature and a date, and time, keep going right, and you've got enter communications and st stop measurement. Click let yes, and then your computer will recognize it when you're using the appropriate program. The appropriate program is ProRay Studios 2. The password being Ray, R-A-E, to enter the administrator section on it. And that's it.